Hello, welcome to this SOC 2 and AWS series where I'm going to show you quickly how you can automate your SOC 2 control evidence and get away from screenshots and documents and uploads for any of the controls on AWS. My name is AJ Yan. I'm the founder and CEO of ByteCheck. I do a lot of cool stuff here at SANS, including help out with the SANS SEC 557 continuous automation for enterprise and cloud compliance course. Before we hop into the SOC 2 content, I did want you to be aware of all of the cloud security courses we have, we have here at the SANS Institute. Some really great courses from DevSecOps to Cloud Security Essentials, the compliance course that uh, is, is authored by Clay Reisenhoover and a number of others that I encourage you to check out. So in this series, what we're going to do is talk about some SOC 2 controls that you can automate on AWS using AWS Config and using their auto uh, auto remediation rules. So today we're going to talk about a SOC 2 control around S3 bucket encryption at rest. This impacts SOC 2 criteria CC 6.6 and the AWS config rule that we're going to demonstrate here is the S3 bucket server side encryption enabled rule. Now I'm going to do a demo today in both the console and in this uh, cloud nine IDE environment using the AWS CLI. And we'll do a number of things here and, and hopefully you're, you're able to eliminate a lot of that bad stuff associated with audits, especially SOC 2 audits. So the first thing that I'm going to do is create a, a uh, AWS config rule, this S3 encryption rule here. And I'm doing that using the CloudFormation stack. And you'll see me do this throughout this demo where I'm going to use the CLI. And it's really simple if you just now get into AWS or if you're really familiar, you understand. Every CLI command is going to start with AWS, then we're going to have the service, and then we're going to have the command. And after that, you'll have a number of parameters depending on uh, what you're doing. Now, in this test account, I created a few buckets. Let's take a look at that. So I just said, let's take a look at all the S3 buckets in this account. And I want to get a good understanding of what's the encryption status of these buckets. Um, and the way that I'm going to do that is, let's just say I want to know about this AJ's files bucket. All right, it looks like we do have AES-256 enabled on this AJ's files bucket. What about some of these other buckets? Let's check this bucket out uh, right here. And let's see what the status is of this bucket. Uh, this bucket has uh, encryption enabled as well. Let's take a look at this bucket and see if we can find a bucket without encryption enabled. And if we can't, we'll go ahead and create one. All right, there we go. And let me clear this up so you can see this a little bit better. So this bucket here says server-side encryption configuration not found. So we have a bucket that's not encrypted at rest, something that we do want to have in place uh, as a part of this um, uh, SOC 2 control. So let me pop back over here to the AWS config console so we can set up some auto remediation here. So I'm going to refresh this page. That CloudFormation stack should have run. And now we have this S3 bucket server-side encryption enabled. And it's actually showing us that we have two non-compliant resources. This is the cool thing about config. It's going to really quickly go out and figure out, do you have anything out there that's not abiding by the security settings that you want at your organization? The really cool thing about AWS config and how you can automate this stuff with SOC 2 is you can decide to automatically remediate issues with AW, with your uh, in your environment using AWS configs auto remediation rules, which uses systems manager underneath the hood. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and set this. I'm gonna say, hey, AWS config, get the bucket name from the resource that you're evaluating. Um, here we go, I'm gonna use this I, uh, SSM auto assume role to do this. And I'm gonna save these changes. I want you to encrypt it at rest with AES 256. Now, this is an auto remediation rule. So this is going to go out and say, all right, I'm going to check and see, are any of these buckets encrypted at rest? And if they're not, I'm going to go ahead and encrypt them. But I can do this manually as well. So let's go ahead and just click remediate here on this particular bucket. And I'll wait to see if I can get a, if, we, if we'll get a pop up here. It goes action executed successfully. So let's pop back over to this, uh, to the Cloud9 console and go ahead and see did this get encrypted at rest? And look at that. Now we went from server-side encryp encryption configuration not found error to this bucket is now encrypted at rest. So instead of providing your auditor with a bunch of screenshots from your S3 buckets or a list of S3 buckets or all these other screenshots, you can just show them that, hey, I have this config rule in place. I have this automatic remediation action in place. Everything's going to be encrypted with AES-256. 
And this is going to do this automatically. So now for this control that I should have in my report, I no longer have to provide evidence to my auditors uh, to show for individual things. I can just show the configuration straight from config. Great way for you to eliminate evidence while also protecting the security of your uh, environment. Hope this was helpful. We're going to continue to go through all 16 controls in the Streamline uh, Controls article that, that we published that you'll find in the link below. Thanks for joining me and look forward to seeing you on the next one.